imagine yourself standing on top of the podium. You just achieved the dream of your lifetime. You just accomplished something you worked so hard for so long for. Imagine that you just accomplished something in a sport or an activity that you love. It all comes down to hard work and practicing. Doesn't matter what the activity is, hard work is the key. And so that's what we're going to be doing this week. I'm going to show you the workout for somebody doing the skeleton, which is the sport I used to do. And each day, you're going to see me do part of the workout for four different sports beyond that. All right? So, here we go. The skeleton workout looks like this. First, you need to do a four to five minute warm up. I've actually done two workouts already this morning. I'm still pretty warmed up. My heart rate is still up there in that warm up zone. Um, then, these are the activities you'll do. It's not easy. When it says four set, that means you do 20 of them four different times. And when it says, you know, two sets or whatever, um, the, the ones down here, you're only doing them basically one time, but sometimes it's with, with each leg. At the end, you find your heart rate, then you do a cool down, stretch for four to five minutes, specifically with the lower body, because the skeleton works so much lower body muscles, strength, endurance, etc. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one round of each of these. Know that you guys need to do four rounds of the squats, etc. I'm gonna go through and do them, not one, not all four of the squats in a row. I'm gonna do one squat, then one lunge, then one wall sit, and then I'm gonna go back through those. And I'm gonna finish off with the two for the hops, step ups, etc. Okay, so on the squats, four sets of 20, one set of 20. You're doing one, two, three, four. Try and keep those knees back behind. Six, the toes. You don't want them crossing over the toes. Stick the booty back first. Try and keep yourself up. Try and actually look up. 10, 20, then you go into the squat, to the lunges, 20 of them, one, two, low and slow, three, four, it's not 20 each leg, it's 20 total, which equals 10 each leg, six, Seven. Twenty. If you need to take breaks in between, go ahead. Then you're doing wall sits for thirty seconds. Three, four, five. Legs feeling it. So then, you have the option, you can go down and continue these. You can go back up to squats and do another set, and then another set, and then another set. Then the two-footed hops, 10 of them. You basically want to do it in a line if you can. If you don't have the room, then you don't. So it's two feet, jump as far as you can. I'm not gonna go, so I'm just gonna turn and come back. If you don't have a lot of room, that's what you do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six. Then you have the one-footed hops. Um, oh, yeah, one-footed hops. A little off. So you're doing the same thing, but just with one foot. One, two, do the right leg first, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
the other day. One. Oh, that was terrible. Ten. Then it has the step ups. Uh, I don't really have a step here. So, find a step. You get a step up on it. One, then step down. Lead with your right leg each time. Three, etc. But you're doing it for 20 seconds. The faster you can go, the better. Back, up, and down. Like so. After 20 seconds, then you do it with the other leg. Okay? And that is your skeleton workout. At the end, do your heart rate. You should be tired. And this should take you close to a half hour. Because mostly, you'll probably need a break in between each one. Especially the further you go.